when you find us. <laughs> Feel free to take advantage of my expertise. We got two episodes to go on the Penguin, and this is the preview for episode seven titled Top Hat coming this Sunday on HBO and Max. If you are not caught up on the Penguin, spoilers for the first six episodes. So if you haven't seen it, hit the pause button right now. Go watch those six episodes. Come back to finish the video. I'll see you in six hours. And a special shout out to all of our new subscribers. We just hit 3,000 subscribers. I love you, 3,000. Looking to 4,000 now. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We talk Penguin, Star Wars, Batman, and more. We're taking back Gotham. I want to hear your thoughts going into episode seven in the comments down below. Are you excited for this? What do you think Top Hat means? Episode seven is called Top Hat. It's also reportedly the shortest episode this season, which you're kind of like, well, there's only two episodes left. Shouldn't they be getting longer? But at the same time, when you look at this episode and what it might be about and how this is going to lead into the finale, yeah, maybe the length makes sense. Also, things are going to go down in this episode that's going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be good. There's not going to be a lot of good outcomes in this one. We're about to hit the finish line here. And we know this is a series about villains, right? There are no good guys in this show. Every single person you meet is bad. That's it. That's all they are. You've got Batman's villain and you've got Batman's villain. And there's a whole bunch of Batman villains in here and corrupt cops. There's no one good in this show. So Top Hat can only lead in one direction. And that is violence and pain. And Penguin is going to feel a lot of pain. If you look at the trailer that dropped just after episode six. I could use your help with something. You're trying to make a deal, Oz? It's really cool, but the description on the bottom on the YouTube on Max's YouTube page says "time to experience real pain," which of course is a reference to Sophia Falcone saying that she wants Penguin to experience real pain. What does that mean? Well, let's look at the clip that I showed at the beginning of this video with Dr. Julian Rush. When you find Oz, feel free to take advantage of my expertise. Don't be afraid to use his expertise when needed. His expertise. He's using light therapy on Sophia. He was in Arkham doing all sorts of weird, crazy, wacky experiments. He's got some dark skeletons in his closets and they're about to be exposed. I did a video on who is Julian Rush a week ago or so. And it was a lot of fun coming up with this character, that character. One character I left out was the Mad Hatter. And a lot of people in the comments brought up Jarvis Tech, the Mad Hatter, in the comments. And I said, I didn't put him in. I actually edited, I have the audio for it. I actually edited it out because the Mad Hatter is a character I am desperately wanting to see in the Reeves verse. There was a rumor when the Batman was coming out that he was going to be a street level drug dealer. And I was all in. And there's a few points in the movie watching in the theater when I saw the camera pan and I was like, oh, are we getting it? But we never ultimately did. And I do want to bring up Julian Rush, Jarvis Tech. They're not, the names are very similar. Could be a play on words. I still don't think he's going to be the actual Mad Hatter. I would love if Julian Rush was the Mad Hatter, but I think he's just going to be his own unique character with a spin. Now, that being said, there is a possibility. The more you look at the Mad Hatter versus Julian Rush, the more they kind of run this parallel course. And we know things are going to go down this episode with Julian Rush and with his expertise. And it's not going to be an expertise that he's going to display on Penguin, but it's going to be an expertise he displays certainly on Penguin's mother and also certainly on Victor. One of them's not coming out of this episode alive. I think one of them will make it to the finale and then meet their demise there. But one of them's not going to make it to the end. But before we get into all of that, let's look at some of the pictures that were released for Top Hat. We're going to start off with this one right here of our boy Oz Cobb in his fur coat, comic accurate fur coat, Danny DeVito fur coat, penguin staple. Again, this episode is called Top Hat. When is the monocle coming? <laughs> Monocle might be in the movie, but we never know. Something bad's coming here. But if you look at him, looks picture perfect. But it's weird because the thing that strikes me with this image is when you put it next to the trailer, where the trailer is all about pain, all about watching Oz Cobb get obviously tortured, his mom, what's happening there, what's happening with Victor when they've obviously been taken. But you look at this picture, and this is a powerful image of the penguin. It looks like he just smacked someone down and he's towering over them and he is inserting his dominance on this person. This doesn't look like someone who's been taken hostage, so someone who's being taken to show them their lair base of operations. This looks like someone who is in power, which is conflicting a conflicting image to what we've been told about this episode leading into it based on the trailers and whatnot. 
God's walk God. Yeah. The names are going to live forever. Now we got Maroney. Same type of thing, right? He's looking down this, although I think he's looking down at Penguin. This could be the very early stages of the episode where they just kind of beat him down and Penguin's down. He says, we're going to take you to, you know, you're going to take us to your base of operations. That's what I'm getting from this vibe here. It's very Maroney. Clancy Brown bringing it as always. Let's go with this picture of Sophia. Sophia dressed to kill, looking on. She's she's getting more and more intense as the series progresses. Like every time we see Sophia, she's more intense. Like episode four was her villain origin story and she's full-blown villain. And she's she's circling more and more into... She's not Joker though. Like she's, I think she's this show's Joker and obviously Julian Rush is this show's Harley Quinn, but she's still more reserved and more sane than Joker with the, with the insane tendencies. Right. And that's something that I really, really enjoy about Sophia. And I'm really hoping that she makes out a series alive just because obviously, you know, the character, she's great. The acting's great and all that, but because I think she'd be a great foil for Batman in an upcoming movie. I don't think like the main villain of a movie, obviously, but a, part of a movie like someone in there like Carmine Falcone was in there she could be in there something like that where you know that she but because of the show you know that she's a genuine threat to the Batman and to Penguin this these movies aren't about villain team-ups we got Joker Riddler sure but this movie's about these characters want their dominance and they are bad people doing bad things and Batman's got to stop them and I put my goddamn life on the line to share it with you if we come together right here right now they're gonna talk about this night and the final picture here, this is the one that struck me the most. It's Julian Rush holding Francis by the arm uh, with some other bodyguards there. And what is he doing and where is he taking her? He's not wearing a hat. Should be noted he's not wearing a hat. But he is going to inflict some light therapy, I would believe, or some kind of torture with the mind on Francis, which is going to devolve her even more and more into the state of dementia that she has which is Louis body dementia, Oz tells Vic, which is a brain disease that mainly targets people above 50. It's incurable, and it doesn't allow the patient to leave an ordinary life. So something is going to happen that is going to trigger this even more. And I think where we're going now is that Oz is going to be the one to take out his own mother. But that's not, I think, going to be an act that is going to trigger the audience so much. I think the act is coming when he kills Vic in the finale. I don't think Vic's making it out of here alive. If he does, that's great. Heard a Red Hood rumor a little while ago. Red Hood for Vic. Okay, let's see where that goes. But I think I think Vic is done. I think Francis is done. I don't know about Sophia and Julian Rush. I'm not sure either. Julian Rush might not make it out of this series alive either. Again, if he's Mad Hatter, everything's going. Everything is lining up with how he's treating people versus how Mad Hatter treats them. So they they could even out. But I think you know, doing the whole Alice in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll stuff, that might be a little bit too much for this character. Maybe even the world, but I, this character is already shown to kind of be their own person leading into it. Now, when they get to that moment, when we get into that room, when he starts doing the tests, the experiments on Francis, possibly on Victor, but definitely on Francis, then maybe, then maybe we start to see some Mad Hatter and he starts to get a little crazy around there and we're going to have a tea party. I'll say it's rude. It's very, very rude indeed. <laughs> I want Oz to feel pain. In the trailer, Sophia wants Oz to feel pain, but we know from this picture here that it looks like she's going to inflict the pain through his mother not knowing what his mother said to him in the prior episode and that episode beforehand when she says you know if my brain gets worse i need you to end my life and he's like i can't do that he's gonna do that he's gonna do that and we're gonna i think as an audience we're gonna almost sympathize sympathize with him but also be like okay well that's not he's not great and then he's gonna do another act that's gonna get us right on board the big question is how does he get out of the situation when he's obviously taken right off the bat, right? He's taken by Maroney and his, and his gang right off the bat. So how does Penguin get out of this? You also have to wonder about Vic. Where is he? He's not in this photo. Does he come out of the car later? Is he brought in? Is Penguin offered a choice and Penguin chooses to save his mother and have Victor killed, but then Sophia flips it or Julian flips it and his mom ends up getting killed and Victor's let go. And then Victor holds a grudge against Penguin and that leads into their final episode confrontation. Or, or does Penguin just outright have his mother killed or does not have a choice at all and they kill his mother and somehow Victor gets set free? Something is going on here. We know that they're separating, but the title is Top Hat. And this, I think, is the beginning, the beginning of the end of Oswald's rise. This is where it all begins, right? This is like we've seen he's kind of had his rise now at the Gold Summit. He's got the gangs with him. But this is where he has to, this is where I think he's going to get the true upper hand on Maroney 
and Sophia Gigante. I think this is where he gets that upper hand, and then it's going to lead into the next episode where he fully becomes the Penguin. I hustle. Do what it takes. That we know and love from the comics, that is Batman's true villain story. I think that's where we're going with this. This is what this episode is going to encompass. His full rise to power. This At the end of this episode, we're like, okay, he's he might not be there. He'll be knocking on the door, but we're like, like he's set. We know he's set. There's no turning back now, and there's no liking this guy. I really feel like as much as we've been on this journey with Oz, and we've kind of felt for him in times, and he's been vulnerable with us at times, by the end of this, we're going to see that there's you just can't be friends with this guy you can't root for oz we i think that it's i think at the end we're all going to feel like we were duped like we were cheering for this guy who ends up being the most brutal person on fictional earth you know what i mean like like we're all like oh man oz has got to rise to power oh i love like even sophia would be like oh man i want sophia to 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 win out because i'm on team sophia i'm on team oz whatever team you're on but then in the end i really think they're going to pull the rug from under us and be like you guys are dumb let's go these are the worst people on the planet why would you like them you can't like them come on sophia i thought you were still at uh arkham those are my thoughts on episode seven. We're leading into Top Hat episode seven. I've absolutely loved this series as we've gone on. If you haven't checked out my videos, I have a whole bunch of videos on the channel. There's a playlist called The Batman where it goes back, you know, two years of all the Batman videos we've done. You can watch all the all the Penguin Batman videos you want and have the conversation right in the comments down below. I love hearing from you. I uh, reply and I read all of them. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts after episode seven on Sunday night. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.